Hi, in this video we will try to derive the section formula used in the coordinate geometry. So let us just quickly write down the section formula. The section formula says that if we have two points A and B with coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2, if the join of AB is divided by the point P in the ratio m is to n, the coordinates of P being x and y, then according to the section formula, x is m times x2 plus n times x1 over m plus n. And similarly, y is m times y2 plus n times y1 over m plus n. Now let us try to derive this formula. So let us draw the coordinate axis. We have a point A, we have a point A, point B, the coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2. There is a point P, the coordinates are x, y and it divides it in the ratio m is to n. Let us drop a perpendicular A, A, T, a perpendicular. P u and a perpendicular from B on x axis B v. All these three lines are perpendicular to x axis so they are parallel to each other. From A we drop a perpendicular on P u and label it as A d and from P we drop a perpendicular on B v and label it as E. Okay, So here we see that B v is equal to y2. P u is equal to y and a t is equal to y1. Similarly, o v, the distance from o to v is x2, distance from o to u is x and distance from o to t is x1. Now let us consider the triangle a p d and triangle PPE. In these two triangles, we see that angle ADP is equal to angle PEB equal to 90 degrees. They are right angles as we have dropped the perpendiculars AD and PE on PU and PV. Similarly, angle PAD will be equal to angle BPE. And why are these angles equal? Because they are corresponding angles. When the lines are parallel, the corresponding angles are equal. So this angle here is equal to this angle here. Angle APD, so triangle APD is similar to triangle PPE. And if the triangles are similar, then the corresponding sides are in equal proportion. So the corresponding sides are AP and PB, the ratio of AP and PB is same as the ratio of AD and PE is same as the ratio of PD and PE. I hope this much is clear to everyone. Now our aim is to find the value of AD, PE, PD and PE. Okay, AD is equal to, I can write AD as X minus X1. Similarly, DE can be written as x2 minus x, pd can be written as y minus y1 and similarly be can be written as y2 minus y. The ratio which we have got is ap over pb is equal to pd over be is equal to AD over BE. Let us substitute the value. AP is M and PB is N. So M over N is equal to Y minus Y1 over Y2 minus Y is equal to X minus X1 over X2 minus X. So we will be taking this equality first. So M over N is equal to y minus y1 
over y2 minus y. Our aim is to find the value of y. So let us cross multiply. So we get m times y2 minus y is equal to n times y minus y1. m y2 minus m y is equal to n y minus n y1. m y2 plus n y1 is equal to y plus m y. So m y2 plus n y1 is equal to take out y common and we are left with an m plus n. So from here we get y is equal to m y2 plus n y1 over m plus n. And similarly we can take m over n is equal to x minus x1 over x2 minus x. And when we simplify it, we will get x is equal to mx2 plus nx1 over m plus n. We will be simplifying it the same way as we have simplified for y and this is our section formula. And hence, we have proved the section formula. If you have any doubts regarding this proof of section formula, you can send me an email at heeti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. If you have liked my videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.